Hey y'all, this is Brett Schermatt from IBM, and today I'm going to show you all how to create a defect from a failed test case. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop into some of the failed test cases, and an easy way to do that is through this widget right here, and this widget is uh, the test plan execution status. And all I need to do is just mouse over the red and click on that to pull up all of our failed test cases here. From the screen here, we can see the name for the test case result. And over here, we can see what test case that it is affiliated with. We have our testing environment and also what the last result was. Now I'm just gonna change this down to failed and I'll click out of that. And we will click on filter. Now it's only gonna pull up all of our failed test cases and I'm just gonna select one of them. And that one is going to be this one that failed in the temperate environment. So clicking on that, I can then click on failed. And if I go over to the defects tab, scroll down a little bit, we can create a defect automatically from this. And now we get to select exactly what this defect is. We know that's gonna be called failing test case, camera focus tests, and we can rename this if we want to. We can select what type it is, and that's gonna be a defect. We can put who it is filed against, and since this defect is dealing with cameras, I'm gonna say that it is gonna be filed against the surveillance system. I'm gonna put the severity as critical. I'm gonna leave what sprint it is found in, and I'm gonna say that it was found during test. If need be, I can fill out this other information here, but I just wanna hop down to the description and talk about this for a second. If I wanna change any information, I can do that so here, but a couple of interesting things is that I can insert external hyperlinks I can also tag people directly. So I can tag in Pete right here, and this will click OK, and Pete can also get notified by it. Another thing that I can do here is I can directly connect this up to a work item if a work item existed. And I'm just gonna click Cancel out of that for now, and I'll click on OK. Now we've automatically just created a defect for this test case. And to view it, all you need to do is you can mouse over it, and you can click on it, and you'll be directly taken to where it is, but I just want to open it up in a new tab so I can hop between the two. So we can see that, hey, this is the defect right here. And if we go over to the history, we can see the history for it that we just created. And we created this one less than a minute ago and we are logged into the account that is called IBM. We can see that Pete was tagged in this and we can see all the other important information related to it. To see this in a more general view, if I hop up to work items, go into welcome to work items, and I can search for a work item and now what we can do is that if I go over to filtering, I can type in failing, and we can see the test case that we just created. And if I click on that, this is exactly what we created from our test case right here. 